Superior Court Judge Michael Bordalio's decision and order came just an hour before the end of business day today. It was highly anticipated as DFS has until tomorrow at the stroke of midnight to vacate the AB Wampat International Airport. Judge Bordalio ruled to dismiss the case without prejudice. Without prejudice means DFS will be able to file its complaint again at a later time. Judge Bordalio essentially agreed with Guam Airport Authority Attorney William A. Baer who challenged the court's subject matter jurisdiction in court on Wednesday. Judge Bordelio wrote that while the court has the ability to grant a TRO, as with any action prior to a court's considering a motion for temporary injunction, it must have jurisdiction to hear the case and order relief. Furthermore, he writes, whenever a court determines that it lacks jurisdiction, it must dismiss the case. Judge Bordalio notes that DFS failed to exhaust all administrative remedies in filing its protest. Now that the case has been dismissed, DFS would have to take its complaint back to the Office of Public Accountability. DFS had already taken the matter to the OPA, but Public Auditor Doris Flores Brooks stayed the contract appeal because DFS had simultaneously taken the matter to Superior Court as well. DFS has a total of three protests. The first has to do with the alleged bribes that took place between the airport board members and Lotte. The second protest alleges that Lotte modified its proposal after the submission deadline, and the third deals with procedural errors. The airport has already denied the first protest, and the other two protests are still pending with the airport authority. Meanwhile, GIAA Executive Manager Chuck Atta continues to maintain that the contract was awarded fairly and properly. As again, you know, we are we are very confident that we conducted the procurement process in a very fair manner, uh, in line with all pertinent rules and regulations, and as far as we're concerned, uh, we have a valid contract with Lotte.